Well, hi there. My name is Robert McDermott. I lead uh, an experimental superconducting qubit group. We are developing technologies that will enable the continued scaling of qubits based on superconducting integrated circuits, working towards an eventual fault tolerant quantum computer. There are a few different sub projects within my group. Uh, one is focused on developing high fidelity, fast, scalable quantum measurement. It turns out that this is the key ingredient in quantum error correction. We've developed an approach that ba it's based on microwave photon counting. And uh, with this approach, we achieve single shot measurement fidelities of around 99%. This is uh, quite a bit better than what Google and IBM are currently reporting. And this work will appear in Physical Review X in the coming days. On the control side, we're working on a new technique for qubit control that's based on irradiating the devices with trains of quantized flux pulses. This has a number of advantages over the conventional approach, which is based on resonant microwave drive. And you can read about some of our latest results in these papers. We have a long-standing effort to understand and mitigate the underlying materials sources of decoherence in superconducting qubits. Materials defects give rise to flux noise, charge noise, and quasi-particle poisoning. This is excitations out of the superconducting ground state that damage the performance of the qubit. More recently, the group has been focused on understanding and mitigating uh, correlated errors. Uh, we have a preprint on the archive. You can look at this and uh, uh, read about our recent results there that show that errors in multi-qubit arrays are highly correlated. And this is a big problem because the current approaches to achieving fault tolerant uh, quantum computing with superconducting integrated circuits rest on the assumption that errors are uncorrelated. So I don't think this is a fatal problem. Uh, we've, we're understanding the physics and I think we'll develop some appropriate mitigation strategies. A newer project in the group is to develop a new approach to fault tolerance that's based on special symmetries in an engineered uh, circuit that will allow us to achieve uh, protection against local sources of noise. This is a variant of, of a so-called topologically protected qubit. This is a newer project, but we've uh, made some good progress and we'll be writing up some results on this in the coming year. So other um, projects in the group include <clears throat> a new approach to uh, detection of dark matter axions that's based on a superconducting qubit. And I've got a longstanding collaboration with both Mark Erickson and Mark Safman, where we're working on various hybrid approaches to quantum computing using superconducting semiconducting hybrid systems or hybrid systems that involve superconductors and uh, neutral Rydberg atoms. The group at the moment involves five grad students, two postdocs, one staff scientist. We've got close connections with quantum industry, especially Google. We have opportunities for new students starting in summer 2021. So if you're interested, please reach out to me. I'd love to talk in more detail about the work in the group. Okay, well, thanks very much.